Professor Hecate's assignment, Expelliarmus. Nice. If we could go for Expelliarmus, I almost, I almost got that spell when I was, um, when I was causing a ruckus at my school. Yeah, I almost got Expelliarmus. <laughs> I really hate my outfit, though. Look at my outfit. Ugh, ugh. It's just a mess. It is a mess. I hope y'all grab your brooms, cause. It's a mess. All right. And what is this? This wizard hat looks like soft serve ice cream. Looks like that chocolate ice cream you get at the Chinese buffet. That's what it looks like to me. All right. Ooh. Oh, okay. All right. We can mine some stuff. All right. Well, don't mind if I do. Okay. It is good to see you, my friend. Hey, Nazi. Nazi. <laughs> Hail, Onai. <laughs> Men like Against who? Halo are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Well, I hear to lose weight, you do need a high mat mat matabilum. Man. Yeah, I can't I can't get a read on Serona. I don't know. Well, and then the other thing is like with the appearance spell, what if what if it's really a man, but then she used a spell to look like a woman? And you know, well, hey. Only in the wizarding world can you get catfished. IRL. It's a dangerous world out there. She might have another wand not in her hand. I do not have time to. Victor Rookwood, don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oh, oh language. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student, you can't be so <laughs> Next, you're going to call her a cotton headed ninny muggins. Thank you for some assistance. Of course. All right, Grace, what you need? Protego. <laughs> Hello. Got to wear protection before you talk to oh, a pretty thank girl. Oh goodness. <laughs> yes. My name. Will you Will you get in the water already? You look like you got to take a dump. <laughs> Rivet gloves. Common. Common gear though. I would like to commandeer a boat. But it doesn't look like that's going to happen. What did you just do? Are you skidding rocks? Why are you skidding rocks? Okay, just stop. Talking about wearing protection before a girl and then getting my rocks off over there. I mean... I mean... They turned on me. Struck me till I nearly passed out. Took my carts, my belongings, even that which is most precious to me. My paintings. I ain't worried about it. Don't you worry. I'll get that stuff back from you. So your name's Arn, huh? Yeah, well, that's what happens. People can take your stuff if you're unarmed. I mean armed. Armed. Unarmed. Oh. Slip of the tongue, Wolfpack. I am Lord Hogsfield's preeminent potioner. I was once a lowly Hogwarts student like you. Hey, fact, I'll give did you, you have to Hogwarts say lowly? <laughs> it's the standard price. My price is a low enough already, you see. You know, you're talking to me and you've just dashed my, my ego. I'm trying to be all serious and I'm all like, lowly. I am so lowly. I am not worthy. <laughs> what do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? Hi there. You have any boats for sale? <laughs> Sailboats. <laughs> you're you're not amused. Yeah, that, yeah. He's not amused by that. He even gave me the two blink. He's like, just get out of my shop. If you ever do that again, discount's done. <laughs> All right. I hear you got the great Van Gogh. I'm not about it. Come here. 
I'm here for your paintings. But I guess I'll have to paint the walls in your blood first, huh? Huh? Mmm. <laughs> Does anybody else want some? All right, well, I guess that answers my question. Mmm. That's right. Lightening my path up. All right. And what are these things? What are they? What do I do with them? Listen, I'm not a fan of playing with other people's balls. What do you want me doing? Yank you by the ball? I don't know. You know, come to think of it, my character, he might be a virgin because he does have blue balls. <laughs> With blue balls, sometimes you need passion. So let's bring the fire. You've inspired me. I've been dealing with witches and wizards for years, and we've always got along just fine. My next piece will be a tribute to all that is good between us. There you go. Have us reaching for each other with our fingers. Travel broadens the mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why don't you just quiet your broad written mind? <laughs> Cause she's a broad people. Come on. That was that was kinda good. Kinda. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. Don't call me a rose. <laughs> please don't call me a rose. To growing together. Uh huh. Okay. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. Call me a daffodil. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. Because I'm a little daffy. <laughs> Can you imagine being the parents, being a mandrake yourself and being a parent? You think it's bad enough that w when babies cry when you're trying to go to bed? Imagine that when you're trying to go to bed. I'd have a few less kids. <laughs> I'd bury them, all right. Oh, I'd bury them. <laughs> I need to have a brief word with our new student. Oh, garlic. Okay, all right. You getting me started? What's what's happening? Listen, you know I am starting from the bottom, like. I don't, do, can, can you actually spare me some money? You got any bread, garlic? You got any of that? Eat your greens! Look at that. Or greens eat you. They can get their Whichever. Mouths on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, collect, collect, collect. Oh, oh dang, gonna be a sunroom by the time I'm done. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Once I take all your plants, it's gonna be called a nun room. Cause you got none of them. Mm. Come on, I dare you. Yep, cross over. Cross over it. Go ahead. Yep, and you crossed over to the other side. And hazardous subjects taught at this school. <laughs> Look at my years, dude. You will be required to reach new heights of both Looks like he's trying to be in a steampunk band. Intellect. Like your beard look. Looking sharp. I see most of you have not Professor Sharp. <laughs> Three and nine equals 12. 19 minus 12 equals. You know, I mean, if kids actually hate doing math, this is a great idea. You could have this be the only bathroom in the classroom and and they have to solve the equation to to get in. Be like, math's stupid. Oh yeah? You 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 wanna pee in your pants then? What is the answer? Oh man. Oh man, better not give the teachers any ideas. This is not a place to be if you ever wanted to just make a statement and jump to your doom. You'd be like, I'm done with this world, and you take that one step, and then the stairs just unfold before you. Stop it. Just let me jump already. Let me jump. 